Uh, my name is uh, John Porvis. I'm born in June 7, 1957 in Poland when there was socialist system. And I want to talk a little bit about this for the people who want to listen. I lived for 30 years mm -hmm. and then uh, we escaped from the system because they have uh, like two different passports. One type of passport is for the communist countries and uh, they don't give the, for the regular people their passport to go to the West countries. So the only way to go out is to buy like vacation. We bought vacation in Greece and mm -hmm. that's why we go for vacation and we never return to the country. 1981, the people like the one complying with the communist law and they organize uh, the independent union, working union. Solidarity. Uh, solidarity. And the uh, Communist Party make like martial law uh -huh. for three years. And uh, there was, you know, like an army on the streets, the police, special police and uh -huh. things like this. Is uh, police, uh, you know, blockade from nine o'clock in the evening to six o'clock in the morning, you cannot go anywhere. Uh, so let's, let's say like people want to buy the bread. They have to go to stay in a huge lines, but when the police come, they, they try to escape because if they arrest you, you can pay penalty or they put you in a jail. Uh, in that time and before, there was nothing in the store except the, you know, vinegar and tea. And anything rest in the store is on the, like food stamps. So, if you can believe that you have like five pounds of any kind of meat for the month, for the person, for the other person, you got like 15 gallons for gasoline for the whole month. Wow. Uh, you got, uh, you know, each of the products, everything like shoes, anything to eat, everything is on the footsteps. Uh -huh. And even if you have those, uh, food stamps, you still have to stay in the big lines to, to buy it because there's nothing in the stores or they doesn't deliver the enough food for everybody. And at that time I was working in the coal mine. I have uh, the paper who let me go out, out of those, uh, you know, police hours. Uh -huh. And I'm coming back from the work. It was two o'clock in the morning and the police arrest me. They took me to the building, the, the, the main police building. They tried to beat me. Uh, then in the morning, they took me to the court. And uh, even they have a papers who let me wo walk and go out. They still punished me with the big fine. Um, maybe you hear there was like a famous pastor in Poland, Popiuszko, called him. Uh, the police, special police, because he's driving to the country and talk to the people, so police don't like it. So they took them, they killed the guy and throw them to the river, you know, and they find them like a few days later. And they got very little, you know, time in jail for that. What I try to say, you know, about system is that uh, people make very little money. The people in the top, have everything. They have a special places where they go on vacation, they have a plane, they have everything. We don't have nothing. If you don't like it, one day you can disappear or, or they put you in a jail. Disappear. They can like disappear doesn't mean they, they can kill you or get they, they can throw you to the Russia and the Siberia, Gulag or uh, so you know the best example is uh, Venezuela now, which was like one of the richest countries in the world, now is the, one of the poorest countries in the world. You have to remember one thing that nothing in the world is for free. You have to work for everything. Uh, the, what they promising, you know, like here, uh, like Sanders or uh, any other people, Somebody have to pay. If you want a free tuition to the school, somebody has to pay more so you get the free. You have to talk with the young people, especially like in the colleges. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of teachers is in uh, like on the left side, uh -huh. and they're not supposed to be teacher because teacher is supposed to be like person who is not involved in politics, uh -huh. uh, or uh, because it's like this, the right side people are supposed to go to the colleges, schools, and teach the young people how was the looks the true about the socialist system. Well, the, my last word is, you know, when I came here, I was 31 years old and uh, I like the system. I experienced everything on my own skin and my family. And, you know, if, if Poland will system not change in 89, I could probably never see my family again.